Fair. Let's see. Let's see how he did it. YouTuber I'm Alex is facing one of the worst downfalls in YouTube history, with his channels losing over 160,000 subscribers do? within just two weeks. This comes oh, after please. his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> friend, Alice Hez, published extensive evidence of mistreatment, abuse, and harassment uh, she received over the course of their relationship. This has exposed the side of him that he kept hidden from his fan base, uh, which is ironic considering his entire career is based around creating expose content on other YouTubers and yikes. personalities. Hi, yikes. I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today we'll be looking into the disturbing downfall of Alex Elmsley, also known as I'm Alex. On the 15th of June, 2024, for Alice made a post on Twitter stating, Here's my statement on the situation I've been scared to speak like, out so on. Recent. It's best it was made public how horrible this person with a platform is. I would hate to see another woman go through this. This post also included a Google Drive link, which contains a number of audio. <laughs> It's always the Google Drives. Here and video files featuring Alex. Alongside that, it also contained an 80 plus page long document 80! with dozens of statements detailing the abuse Alice endured, alongside the screenshots and pictures to prove these allegations. The document opens up with a trigger warning. Wait, 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 wait. Is it, is it the one that, um, was saying, like, that, that, uh, uh, like, that, uh, that had that, uh, 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 fucking voice recording of his where he said he would bash her fucking head on or something or something something where she recorded the discord call is it that one wait that one might be the one Salt side depression yes, it and is? assault. Oh, okay. Following this, okay, the first okay, major okay. accusation against Alex is that he tried to blackmail Alice into staying quiet about the whole situation. Dude, In dude, dude, words, he's such an animal, bro. I, I see, I've seen that clip that. Actual fucking animal. No, 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 no. That's that. That's rude towards animals. He's worse than. He's worse than an animal. I've been threatened by Alex to not come out with anything at all and to keep quiet, or he'll create a contradicting story to discredit my own. But I'm not scared anymore. And as we'll see later, this accusation is disturbingly warning, uh, close to the truth. Alice also mentioned how she officially began dating Alex in March of last year, and later revealed that they broke up in December of 2023. So the relationship only lasted about nine months in total. Now, that's just nine months. But with the sheer number and severity of the accusations in this document, it almost makes it unbelievable that it all went down in less than a year. That being said, the first issue Within Alice faced was year. Alex's constant need for attention. He expected her to be available for Discord calls 24-7. And she states, Alex felt that because I'm home all day and work from home, that I would be able to call 24-7 and to completely shut out any other social interactions I have with my friends. And when she couldn't join a call because she was busy elsewhere, like with friends or family, Alex would emotionally blackmail her. So Bro, what the fuck? That is so messed up. No! Saying things like, guess everyone has got something better to do. Or, no one wants me. Bro, th that is so emotionally manipulative. Bro, what the fuck? What a piece of shit! Either that, or he would get angry and start dishing out a barrage of insults. Idiot, talk, talk! You text like a retard, so call me. You say everything wrong on text because you're fucking stupid, so call me. Bro! Idiot, you text like a retard. Actually so call insecure. Me. You're stupid. And if Alice tried to apologize and calm things down, he'd stay hated and go as far as telling her to f off and calling her a c. She further explains, After screaming at me in calls and disregarding everything I've ever said, he would explain how it's always my fault and that I should apologize, that I should fix Bro. it and fight for him after he has made it worse by completely dehumanizing and degrading me. What's extremely disturbing is Alice didn't use the term dehumanizing here as a metaphor. Now, when it's too fucking late, you admit you- Oh, yes! Bro! His face is so punchable. Look at his visage. Look at that visage. You did everything fucking wrong. But when it actually matters, when you should lay down like a good fucking dog. During this time, Alice also found out that not only was Alex keeping touch with several of his exes, despite promising he wouldn't. <laughs> lovely. Lovely. Would you like have that? Oh, my. Human scumbag. Human fucking scumbag. She also discovered that he was even stalking one of his previous girlfriends. And stalking? still had explicit images on his phone. However, this was... Stalk 
fucking and explicit images of his ex on his phone still. Bro, no, that's straight up- No, no, that- that is- That is bad. No, oh, that is- Having explicit images- Like, looking away from everything right now. Let's look away at everything right now and only concentrate on the explicit images of his phone- uh, Of his ex still on his phone. That is reason to break up with someone. That is still a sort of- to me, that's still some sort of... It's not an actually cheating, but it's a sort of cheating, you know? I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's... It's... Uh, it's... 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 It's not being faithful in the end. Like, what the fuck? What is this? Holy shit, bro. Bro! Only the start of Alex's twisted behavior towards Alice. In July, the two of them went on a holiday to Italy. However, what should have been an opportunity for the two of them to finally make up got ruined when, according to Alice, Alex started watching a video about, quote, a girl being hyper after trauma, unquote, which what? is a terribly disturbing notion on so many. Wait, wait, wait. He watched a video? Okay. This was only the start of Alex's twisted behavior towards okay. Alice. In July, the two of them went on a holiday to Italy. Yes. However, what should have been an opportunity for the two of them to finally make up got ruined when, according to Alice, Alex started watching a video about, quote, a girl being hyper after trauma. A girl being hypersexual after trauma? Unquote, which is a terribly disturbing notion on so many different levels. So, when Alice noticed the contents of this what video... Is that she opened up to Alex about her own past essay-related trauma. However, instead of consoling her or understanding her struggles, Alex told her that he, quote, doesn't want to know what has been done to her by other guys. Okay, from what I'm understanding is he watched a porn video of that, is what I'm getting. So what I'm understanding is that he watched, like, some explicit video of something like that. That's messed up. People often turn to sexual activity to cope with past trauma. Yes. Yes. But he watched that as, like, to him, that was, like, bro, what? And then she opens up that she had past trauma regarding this because she thought she could like now open up like some sort of way regarding this or like tell him it's not okay because of this or something and he's just like yeah i don't want to know what other guys did with you like uh, bro well i was sexually assaulted him i don't want to hear about your past boyfriends yeah like what Unquote. He also got angry and threatened to leave Alice on her own in a foreign country with no way of getting back oh, home. Off. And even blamed her for ruining the trip. After coming back and saying things like, bringing up weird shit on our first holiday, you ruined every moment. As well as, I have no fond memories with you. However, things got even <laughs> worse for Alice when she asked Alex for advice about getting into Twitch streaming and expanding her online career. Instead of helping her in any meaningful way, Alex just resorted to belittling her for trying. You're like everyone else. Stupid f***ing idiots who think they know better than the only man who has done it all successfully. As well now he's made it personal to his viewers. Now he's included his viewers. Now he's included... Like... Every other person would love to be a content creator. And now he's just belittling everyone. Now it's not o only being a shit scumbag human being to his partner, or rather ex-partner, thankfully. Wow. Well, as it's easy to sit there like everyone else and cry about it when you're a jobless freak. Imagine trying to teach retards like you and my mates how to do this and keep yourself. No way. no way i just told you how to make six figures so f off they would even call alice a quote dumb 
floor multiple times during this argument. And while this is awful, Alex managed to take things even further into the realm of depravity. For some context, many years ago, Alex posted a video in which he criticized Hannah Mojo's use of a racial slur by saying the N-word out loud himself. He later apologized for this and admitted okay. that it was a dumb thing to do. Okay. I deleted that video because I don't stand by that video and that video was f***ed and there's no excuses for that video. What? What was that on top of your mean? That I made. Fuck. Most bought this apology as genuine, with comments reading, As a black person, I think he was genuinely sorry in his apology. You could tell he was ashamed. That doesn't excuse the fact he said it at all. But from the looks of things, okay. it's clear that his use of the n-word wasn't a dumb mistake, but rather a deliberate choice. This is because Alex seems to have no issues about using the n-word as an insult to his girlfriend. <laughs> if you're already disgusted by Alex's emotional manipulation, <laughs> gaslighting, and condescension, it gets even worse, because these usually insults quickly escalated into threats of physical violence, with Alex telling Alice to quote, die in a f***ing hole and kill yourself, and even- Bro, we're six minutes into the video! We are six minutes into the video! There's still ten minutes to come! This isn't even all! We're not even halfway through chat! Bro! I'm speechless about this! Like, on one hand, obviously, I want to say, how does someone stay with a person like this? But, bro, on the other hand, I know what it is like to be in a position like this. I know what that feels like. And I know how blinded you can be. I feel so sorry for her, man. I feel really sorry for her. Bro, this is, this is so bad directly threatening her by saying things like, I'm going to f***ing kill you, and I'm going to break your neck. Alice also managed to record one of these horrible threats he made during a video call. I I like this, I didn't, is I didn't mean this one! And that's something you really need to f***ing fix. Th that's I'll the one! You can bash your f***ing head against the wall with a Bro, what a fucking animal! The no, what After a cockroach! After up with these threats and causing abuse for cockroach. a bit over nine months, Alice finally decided that enough was enough and broke up with Alex on the oh, 28th of December 2023. Her. She detailed the events leading up to this breakup in the document she shared with everyone on Twitter. According to her statements, on the day of the breakup, Alex asked if he could help with any house chores. She told him to clean the sides of the kitchen cabinets and mm -hmm. take out the bins. But instead of doing the tasks he asked for, he started screaming at her for giving him more than one task and telling no. her that that he couldn't handle more than one at a time. What's this kindergarten behavior? Bro, cockroaches are animals too? Yeah, but cockroaches should be animals that aren't animals. Something, something, English. Yes, that, that, that doesn't make any sense. Moving on. Bro, it's like he grew up watching Coco Man. <laughs> And as Alice tried to walk away to avoid any further well, discipline, yeah. escalation, yeah, yeah, Alex yeah. crossed a major line. He allegedly became physically violent. According to the document in Alice's Google Drive, Alex kicked her in the back, oh, nearly making her fall to the ground. At this point, Alice was scared out of her mind and was panicking. She was afraid that Alex would hit her again. So she started recording on her phone just in case. All the while, Alex began following her around, insulting her further and trying to incite another argument. During his rambling, he also says that he's the one who pays for everything, so what Alice has to say doesn't matter one bit. After Alice left, he also began threatening to throw her remaining stuff out, including her Bro. PC setup worth over £4,000. She quickly returned to take it back, but it was too late. Her setup was on the floor in pieces, the Aww. keyboard was broken and scattered everywhere, and both her monitor screens were also smashed Bro. to bits. From what we've Uh, bro, this is actually triggering my PTSD. Jesus Christ. I've seen so far, there's plenty of evidence to show just how abusive Alex had been towards Alice since the very beginning of their relationship. Yet something completely surprising happened after the breakup. Put simply, Alex suddenly turned into a new man. Or at least, that's what he began saying. Stating that he, quote, wants to make stuff better. And that right. he, quote, wants everything to be normal again. By right. this point, Alice wanted nothing to do with him. So she began ignoring him completely 
and even blocked his number, which is a clear indicator that she did not want to discuss anything with him. However, Alex kept messaging her on different social platforms, including ones she made for a cat, in hopes of gaining her attention. What? He even sent Whoa. her a 24 minute long voice note, crying, admitting fault, and begging Alice to give him another chance. I'd convince myself. I'm waffling between at least. I was never that bad, and what if I was that bad? Oh. Jesus, man. He sounds like a manipulative piece of, sh of shit. Yeah, definitely is one. Normal, normal is being abusive and manipulative, so accepting the breakup and walk away. Yeah, like... 24 minutes? The... You're looking- you were always looking for a way out. When in reality, you just wanted me to be normal. You didn't want my money. You didn't want anything from me apart from me to just be what I could be all the time. <laughs> and I'm so sorry, Alice. When that didn't work, he tried Bro, sending her a gift through Amazon with an apology message <laughs> reading, I'm Yikes. deeply sorry for upsetting you and letting you down Yikes. constantly. I hope one day you can forgive me and we can Yikes. talk. He even tried the pre-internet technique Get of sending help, a handwritten man. letter to Alice, reading, Dear Alice, I'm so sorry for not fixing my behavior before, and I understand this might be too late or too little. You are the love of my life, and I will never forgive myself for hurting you. During this time, Alice began posting things on Twitter and other social social media platforms relating to domestic abuse and toxic relationships. Now, if someone suddenly starts making these kinds of posts, it's natural for people to assume they've experienced something similar. Telling a woman you love her while hurting her soul and breaking her heart is emotional and psychological abuse. It is. It is. Wow, this... Wow, this one really did need a trigger warning. These posts can come across as a subtle cry for help, a way to share their struggles without openly announcing them to everyone. And since many of Alex's subscribers knew about his relationship with Alice, they'd likely start asking questions. To avoid such a situation, Alex tried to talk Alice into keeping their matters hidden by saying stuff like, we have a right to a private lie, and that quote, venting to your friends I understand, but okay. this makes this whole situation harder for both of us and takes it to an unneeded place. But when Alice refused uh -huh. to cooperate one bit, Alex changed his approach and adopted a more threatening tone, saying things like, if you keep posting this stuff, it'll end up being a huge problem. Uh -huh. This is also where he began threatening to make up a counter story that Alice mentioned near the start of this document. Alex, I don't want to talk about you hitting me and I found the text about the cat. Alice, because I didn't and you'd be lying. <laughs> Alex, when you said you'd punched me. Alice, I didn't punch you over a cat. Is this you saying you're going to use that? Alex, no, I'm not. But right now, you're pushing against me. Before Alex could make up any right. stories about what quote right. actually happened, what Alice decided to shit, come man. forward with her story and all the evidence she'd gathered over the months. Which brings us back to June 15th, when Alice made the Twitter post that started this whole controversy. As soon as the post went live, people started voicing their support for Alice, with a tweet from Wonderstruck reading, just finished reading through the drive, genuinely deplorable behavior. Yeah. I sincerely do apologize for the volatile behavior that was directed towards you. With Another Christ. user tweeting, I am literally shivering after seeing all this. More love and support to you. Please take care of yourself. Yeah, literally, my gut is also in, like, oh, uh, bro, this, this is rough. There barely, like, there rarely is ever anything that's rough, but this is, that is even rough to me. This, this one is even rough to me. The YouTube community is completely on Alice's side as well, to the point that there isn't a single person on YouTube who's defending Alex's actions. It's important to note that a big reason why everyone's unanimously taking Alice's side is because the evidence she's published Just leaves no for running, yeah, I'm happy she got out as... Sorry. Sorry for, read, uh, for talking over the video. I'm happy she got out as quote-unquote early as she did. Other women that are in abusive relationships stay years and years and years on end. Literal decades. Decades? No, that's the wrong one. No, it's decades? Ten years? I forgot. I forgot. Decades is ten, ten years? Was it correctly? <laughs> okay. Who would defend this guy, right? 
Aside, it's because the evidence she's published leaves no room for doubt. There are dozens of texts of Alex calling her all kinds of horrible names, and clips of him calling her a dog and threatening to smash her head against a wall with a brick. That's some pretty deplorable stuff. And while everyone else on the internet was bashing Alex's behavior towards his ex-girlfriend, two of his friends also came forwards with statements condemning his actions. Mimulus made a post on Instagram stating, I'm aware of the Alex situation. I would usually wait until both parties have said their side publicly before speaking out, but I think the evidence here is overwhelming. Yeah, pretty I spent overwhelming. this morning reading what Alice has written and going over the evidence she has provided, and no one should have to go through what she has. It's awful and disturbing and has seriously shocked me. I'm still processing what's happened. This is one of the worst situations I've ever seen in my life, and I hope Alice is okay. It took a lot of courage to speak out about this. Will and E also took a similar stance and completely sided with Alice, but also made a shocking revelation. Firstly, I really hope Alice is doing well and commend her massively for having the courage to get that out there. As Mia mentioned, there were rumors of his behavior earlier last year. Myself right. and a few others hadn't had contact with him since or been his friend for even longer. With that being said, the severity of the abuse that Alice published was far worse than anything I'd heard being discussed, and what he put her through is inexcusable. In other yes. words, people close to Alex already knew Shit, about his toxic horrible. traits, or at least had suspicions, but chose to ignore the matter until Alice came forward with her complete story. Well, not everyone. According to Will and E's ex, Mia X Mon, okay. she and Alex were signed to the same YouTube talent agency up okay. until last year. For those of you who don't know, a YouTube talent agency is a company who helps them find sponsors in their videos. So like when Mythic she became talent. aware of the abuse back in June like of 2023, we she forwarded the information to the agency and pressured them into dropping Alex, which they did. And while most see this as Aww. a good thing, some are calling Mia's moral compass into question. With a tweet reading, isn't she just as bad as everyone else who knew by staying silent? I feel like we can't criticize everyone else and give her praise because she also knew about it and didn't say anything publicly. But as someone else points out, it's the victim's story. What yeah. if Alice wasn't ready to share it? Uh, that That is exactly it. It's the victim's story. Like in the end, they do need help. But if they're not ready to be helped, we can't do much about it as well. It's It's very hard. It's a very hard thing to like help someone with ultimately it is a very complex situation with no clear answer though in light of alice's bravery a couple other victims of alex have also come forward detailing their horrible experiences oh my with god him. there's the more first of these women. is his ex-girlfriend jess carter who oh replied to alice's tweet talking about how she had to endure a similar treatment from alex she also posted a screenshot of texts one of her friends received from alex back in 2019 which includes messages like i'm going to kick her head in what might kill fuck? her might actually kill her when talking about Jess. So from the looks Bro of things, the threats of physical violence towards his romantic partner aren't exactly a new thing and have been part of Alex's personality for a long time. And just like with Alice, people were quick to come forward to support Jess. At the same time, a YouTuber by the name of King Annie also came forward about her horrible experience with Alex. But instead of receiving support like Alice and Jess, she's getting immense backlash for something she did alongside Alex about four years ago. For context, in mid-2019, the YouTuber Slezo's ex-girlfriend, Shay, published a twit longer accompanied by screenshots in which she accused Slezo of is. being controlling, manipulative, and really abusive. A few Lovely, weeks later, another Slezo one. made a video titled My Side, where he showed the screenshots, the proof, everything. It okay. proved that he did not abuse her, All he right, didn't okay. force her to do anything, and okay, he was mind. just an immature boyfriend. In okay. other words, the accusations against him were completely off-base and inaccurate. Despite right. this, some people still kept saying that Slezo was in the wrong, most notably King Annie. In the end, these false allegations completely ruined Slizo's career and forced him to quit YouTube entirely soon after. So now that the allegations against Alex came out, King Annie came out and blamed the entire Slizo situation on Alex as well. With a post Wait, reading, we started to realize that when there was even the smallest amount of drama and he heard about it, he would make sure to involve himself, even if the subject had absolutely nothing to do with him, and he would just make everything so much worse. For example, the Slizo situation. Though it was never said in the original statements by Shay, he somehow came to the conclusion that it was and everyone else got the blame for saying his words. However, people are not willing to let King Annie declare herself as a victim in the Slezo situation. With a post from Wavy Websurf reading, You helped spread those Slezo allegations. Don't try to slink out of that. You heard a rumor, did zero vetting, and went with it. Take some accountability for what happened. You co-signed that false story.
Okay, so King Annie basically spread uh, false rumors or like made the fire bigger than it had to be. And then freaking um Alex caught wind of it, said it was rape. And now King Annie is like uh, trying to blame um Alex on everything. Okay, man. Okay, that's that's stupid. Sorry. Some don't even want to acknowledge her as a victim of Alex's toxic tendencies with a tweet reading. And now they're trying to take a piece of the victim pie. Alice is the victim, not her. What should have been a straightforward yeah, like, story of a domestic victim coming out to the world has turned into a web of drama which somehow involves multiple youtubers and incidents from over four years ago this oh, has geez. also made it quite difficult to predict where the situation will go from here the biggest unknown factor in this regard however is alex's response or lack thereof at the time of writing this video alex has not yet responded to alice's allegations in any shape or form the this video came out like yesterday five hours ago the video of him threatening to smash his girlfriend's head oh, is bro. enough to sink his career on its own. Not to mention the remaining videos and dozens of screenshots proving the points Alice has brought up against him. Some speculate he'll make a half-assed apology and try to play the bad mental health card, but given the severity of the situation, that will only enrage more people. In all uh. honesty, it'd be a miracle if he somehow managed to keep even 10% of his audience, since there's nothing he can say or do that will restore his reputation at this point, which is exactly the sort of situation Illuminati has found herself in as well. Click the video on screen to find out more. Jesus Christ. I think I sent Oompa's video of him to you. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, YouTube stats? Well, I think it's called Social Blood, yeah. Well, uh, how exactly is it written? Hi, I'm Alex with double L and double X. Hi. No, 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 just I'm Alex. Bro, oh, look at this drop. Look at this drop. Good riddance. Illuminati X Alex, anyone? Oh my fucking god. Look at this fucking drop. Good fucking riddance. Minus 130k for the last 30 days. Goodbye. Is he still making videos, though, is the question. Like, has he still been making videos? Has he still been uploading? I'm pregnant. Two months ago. No. Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like a good, good. What's his Twitter say? Nothing. This Twitter said nothing. Damn. That's that, I guess.